My name is Jordan, and I'm a pool lifeguard for LA City. Jordan has been a lifeguard for over eight years and anxiously waits for the quarantine to end to go back to working full time. The coronavirus pandemic or COVID-19 has left over 36 million people in the US unemployed and worried about their future source of revenue. With news of unemployment benefits going away, the fate of the future for Americans is currently unknown. COVID-19 has personally affected me uh, by stopping my job completely. Uh, my job was considered non-essential, so it shut down in February and, uh, well, the pool shut down. My department is still running shower operations for the homeless shelter that's nearby. Uh, so uh, approved and tested people can come in and take a shower at our, in our locker rooms. Um, <clears throat> but we're on a very tight budget, LA City is, so each individual employee is only getting one day a week. So I've been budgeting very carefully in order to not be in debt to my landlords. Amidst the uncertainty of COVID-19, another tragic case follows. The death of George Floyd is the epitome of social injustice in our America today. With the American people fighting for four policemen to be charged for murder, the city of Minneapolis has a chance to do what is morally right. Uh, well, I've seen the protests and the riots in Santa Monica and Beverly Hills as of the last couple days. I agree with the sentiment of what people are trying to, trying to say why they're out there protesting, but I think there's another smaller group of people who are just taking advantage of the chaos and filling their arms with merchandise, which I don't approve of. I feel optimistic about the future of my world right now, actually, because I think that we're finally acknowledging some of these long-rooted pro problems in our society, and I think that <clears throat> with the quarantine happening, people have the energy and time to spend being vocal about what's important. Um, and I think some we could see some positive change from this in the way that our police force operates. I wouldn't change the narrative. I think that for once the correct narrative is being broadcast in people's voices that are actually out on the streets feeling these pressures are being heard and I actually really appreciate that. The Catholic Church proclaims that the human life is sacred and that the dignity of the human person is the foundation of a moral vision for society.